Supergirl Kels is a 25-year-old from Montreal, Canada, who is addicted to Pyra and Mithra. The latest downloadable content from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Precisely a video game. It started when her original character, Sonic, missed three moves at once, homing attacks, while opponents fell out of up airs continuously for two years. A void was presented into Supergirl Kels since the previous release of the franchise on Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Sonic was considered to be a top 5 character in the game, who presented damage output, combo confirms, reliable kill setups, and speed. With the latest release of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Sonic was first considered completely trash upon release. The character lost kill power and rarely had any follow-ups that connected to each other continuously. This began a plummeted of results for Supergirl Kells, finding confusion and lost words and a void that was left full of emptiness with the character. When COVID-19 hit in March of 2020, she has been unable to see girlfriends, best friends, and even travel to events to improve her Sonic. This has impacted her even greater to have a void to fill. The latest release of Pyra and Mithra presented something to fill as characters work, present strength and speed, while also giving range. This sparked something in Supergirl Kels, and the addiction began. Since the release of Pyra and Mithra, her family and friends are concerned about her well-being as she drives and plays the game at the same time and plays for continuously morning till night. It's, it, I'm, I'm scared because my hands are hurting and I feel heart palpitations and I'm getting more and more aggressive. It all started when she was born. You know, I don't really understand where it came from, but it's affecting her school life and everything else she's done. It's it's really just sad to see. And I haven't gotten to see her in like at least 17 business days or talk to her. So I'm just really concerned for her and it really makes my heart like hurt when I see this. It's a genuine problem. She does it in the shower. Like, what the hell? She's been a Sonic main for God knows how long she's been playing Smash Brothers, as well as secondary and Kirby. But ever since she came. It seems like she's stuck in a trance. Her doctors are worried that causes of arthritis, insomnia, will take place and get worse. As she already suffers from cardiac rhythm disorder, aggression, and carpal tunnel. So my name is Kelsey, I am 25 years old, and I'm addicted to Pyra and Mithra from Smash Brothers. I didn't expect this to ever happen to me. I grew up and my mom and my family told me to stay away from drugs, don't, don't, you know, don't go and get drunk and I never really been addicted to anything before. I've been one of the top competitors in Smash Brothers for uh, about uh, four years now. And with the latest installment of Smash Bros Ultimate, my favorite character Sonic was uh, really affected. And uh, when quarantine started, I finally understood and adapted well, but I couldn't help but miss something that is no longer there from the old days of playing competitively. That fire I find that I had once competing would slowly start to slip away and that passion and drive as to how I need to play was, was leaving. Uh, two months ago, they announced a new character and originally I didn't know who they were. I couldn't tell you. Who the fuck is this? What are we watching? I got an invitation to join Smash! I just was going to practice against them and, uh, you know, beat the story mode with them because I am a completionist. But when I got my hands on them, uh, when they released, uh, I... something clicked, you see. But this one was different. This one not only had the range that my character struggled with, but uh, 
they move so quickly. She had a sword. It just reminded me of a Sonic game that I never played yet. Eventually will. And once I tried her, I it just started. I couldn't I couldn't stop. I the first night I, I remember I didn't sleep. I played all night. And the next day, and the next day, I started to forget schoolwork. I started to not show up for my girlfriend's dates. I really see that. You know, I could see that people are annoyed with me, but I just can't help it. I, I just want my life back. I can't sleep without thinking of them. <laughs> Experts Dr. Addictor and Professor Diction are here to help Supergirl Kels get out of her bad habits Dr. Diction, and it's Hello. nice to meet you. My name is Professor Diction, and I'm part of the uh, <clears throat> Maynacity Society, and we've been working with diseases like Crashy to really get players back to where they need to be. My name is Dr. Addictor. We're from the Crisis C Agency, and we're here to help you with a specific problem. Yeah, I have a problem, and I can really use some help her cure and find herself again in the game. What she's going through is called Mainomia, and a Mainomia is very common when new characters are arise in the fighting game community especially, but uh, we can help her. She needs to first realize what she can fill that void with at home with her family and friends and get her involved in activities with even Sonic, make her fall in love with these characters that she was originally feeling so good about herself with in the first place. She needs to know that she doesn't need more than that and that that void might be already filled. So we're going to take her on a few exercises into rediscovering herself and what she loves and hopefully it will inspire her and keep her away from the pirate mentor thing. <laughs> we're wondering, um, what are you willing to do for change? I'll, I'll, it'll take anything to do what I can to stop playing pirate mentor. I'm willing to do the work. And how many hours do you say you play per day? On average per day, I'm playing about 23 and a half hours. The other half is spent from force of family and friends. Is this the first time a character has done this since your mains? This is the first time uh, this has happened since my mains, basically since 2008. We first need to show Supergirl Kells why she made Sonic in the first place and why she competes in the first place. So today we're going to show her a documentary about Sonic the Hedgehog and uh, the help he might need right now and that support from her and they can help each other fill that void. We're gonna start right now. We're gonna put that on and we're gonna go on an adventure. It looks like you want your life right. back. We're gonna make it happen. Oh, that's going shy. Okay, come inside and we'll get started. Okay. So we're gonna make you watch uh, a very old Sonic documentary and we're hoping that you see how much you connect with this character and you're gonna see some things that might remind you of the way you want to be, okay? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Hello, Kelsey. This, this is just for, this is only for proof. Oops. This is only for proof to show that how far we've gone in, uh, in Sonic Underground. Really? I remember this. I remember we worked so hard just to get to that level. 
I remember seeing Sonic and just completely being blown away and wanted to be one of the best Sonics because he just gave me so much when I was a kid. Yeah, I was hoping you'd say that. It's kind of boring. So I thought of the most famous character in the world. Santa Claus, and I took his color to make Michael Jackson's boots for Sonic. Mr. Needlemouse's get it done now wow. attitude is taken straight from Capitol Hill. Sonic was so influential to so many people. Mm -hmm. I miss him. So you see, she sees now and feels <laughs> the connection and bond she has with Sonic. And I just wish he was taken care of and happy. And I want to be that for him. Kirby was much easier, I feel, because Kirby has such a great reputation and he, he looks like a cuddly bear. Uh, he, it's very easy to fall in love with him. So uh, she's able to connect with him and smile with him. And all of his games are so influential to her, you know, being her favorite series. So uh, it's very easy. Uh, it's great because now we're seeing her now be more involved and more motivated to be away from Pyra and Mithra. So, absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> it's been one week since the program of Leaving Pyra Nithra has began. So, it's been a week since I've been on the program and I've been feeling much better. I notice I'm more involved with activity at home. I'm taking out my cat again. My grades are starting to go back up. And I've spent zero hours playing Pyra and Mithra. I've been back to Sonic, and it's been good to fall in love with this game all over again in a healthy way. Today we are celebrating that one week, and uh, I'm just very excited to move on with my life. Today is one week of her progress. We're very excited to see how she's going to do. And uh, we're gonna be testing her today. We're gonna leave the TV on. We're gonna call her in when her family and friends are here. Uh, and uh, we're gonna see if she's gonna choose the game or if she's going to choose specifically her family and uh, her, her value of her life. Today's the day! Yay! Okay, everybody. Get your places, because it's time. Kelsey? Me too. Hello, girl. Just give her a sec, maybe she's gonna be dressed, you know. <laughs> well, maybe if you, you know, talked louder, you she would hear you. She's never Should we go? She might be we relapsing. Check on her? Okay. Yes, we should go check on her right now. Hurry up. This could be bad. This could be bad. She might be relapsing. Yes. Yes, we should go check on her right now. It's not what it looks like, look, look! There's no way, there's no what it looks like! 